From the uh, Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga, a site which never fails to amaze, hand-sized specimen of the the typical matrix of the uh, young dolomite or, or, or compacted clay going into a young dolomite, typical brecciation on the on the cross sections as well, and filling these vugs would have been. Uh, in this case, a layer of druzy quartz, perhaps a little bit of carsicola sitting underneath that. Druzy quartz over the top, and uh, I'd expect to find some um, heterogeneity here too, which would manifest itself as little black, uh, uh, waxy black botroids, uh, often trapped under the quartzes. Interesting here, there's a different green on this section. Just go in there, you'll see a, a different shade of green. Associations here as well. Often I find vesigierite um, or, or, or even malachite. Uh, so what I'm seeing here, but the, the appeal of this piece is the, the actual form. So on a display on a turntable lying flat, you'd have this effect going around like that. And this lovely bling-bling coating of the druzy quartz running across it. Hand-sized specimen, of course. And then when we look into this, let's see if I can get a little bit closer and let's see if we can magnify that section. You'll see there's a different kind of green there as well. And those would be little tiny quartz crystals, most likely surrounding heterogenite or could be vesigierite too. All the way from the uh, Tenke Fungurumu mine, another masterpiece from the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent. Of course, formerly known as Shaba Zaire, Copper Mines of the Congo.